guys, welcome to Angie's Table. Today, we're gonna be making halal guys. If you guys can't tell by now, I love New York, and the first time I tried this, we were there for my friend's bachelorette party. I literally devoured mine, plus my friend's leftovers. So today's video is gonna be a little different because halal guys, there's so many steps involved with it. I tried to break it down into four parts so it's easy for you guys to follow through. So we'll start with the marinade and then make the two sauces, make the rice, and then cook the chicken and plate it. So let's go and make the marinade now. So now I'm just gonna mince some garlic to use for the chicken marinade. I'm gonna just chop up some parsley while I'm at it. So I have my bowl of chicken ready, but I already had it all pre-sliced. So we'll add in the garlic. So I'm adding in my parsley, and I actually had fresh parsley, so I wanted to use that. Dried parsley is perfectly fine. If you are using fresh parsley, make sure to add in about triple the amount because dried parsley is more concentrated. Then I'll add in my Greek yogurt. We'll go ahead and squeeze some lemon. I'll add in my lemon juice and we'll add in all our spices. Get one tablespoon of olive oil. And we will have this marinating for at least two hours, but Half a day or overnight is even better. Okay, so now we're going to start with making the sauces and let's start with the white first. Sour cream. Mayo. Lemon juice. Vinegar, sugar, salt, and black pepper, and parsley. And we're just going to mix this. Mm. And now onto the red sauce. I'm gonna cut this into coarse pieces real quick. So I had Roma tomatoes, but those big ones, like the beefsteak ones, um, you need two of that. So I just estimated it and said I need about four of these smaller tomatoes. I have an immersion blender and I'm gonna just drop these in. I'll add in lemon juice and vinegar. Drop in my garlic, a tablespoon of the red chili flakes, a fourth teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper. And now we're just gonna store this in the fridge. Cooking basmati rice is really confusing, especially for me since I was so used to cooking Korean rice. Korean rice is more starchy, whereas basmati rice isn't. But for some reason when I cooked it, it was always like sticky and not fluffy. So then I ran across this method of straining the rice. So let me teach you how to make the perfect basmati rice.
Okay, so two hours have passed by and the chicken smells amazing, so let's just go ahead and cook it. High heat, let's just drizzle some olive oil. So I hope you guys had fun watching me make this. I hope you guys will try it out too. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment below for any questions. And I'll see you guys again next week.